Hello, beautiful black people. I hope that all is well in your world. And this day was a very, very successful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. <clears throat> My beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. And for those white folks that are listening. For the umpteenth time, I do not, we do not hate white folks. What we do has nothing to do with hating anyone. We are on a mission to liberate the minds, M-I-N-D-S, of black folks, people that look like me, period. That is our mission, is to liberate the minds of black folks. But to do that, we must tell the truth about white folks, about blue folks, about black folks, about any folks, and about anything, we will espouse truths. No one is perfect, but our aspirations is to achieve perfection, to deal with facts and truths, to disseminate those facts and truths every day of our lives while we are still on this side of the river. You have, if you have listened to me in the past, you know that I am terrified and totally disappointed with what I call stupid white boy logic. Stupid white boy logic is driven, driven by this insatiable appetite that white folks have for black death and black suffering, encompassing too many white folks to do anything in an effort to try to satisfy that drug addic addiction that they have. And that drug addiction is hatred and fear of black folks, people that look like me. And they are on the hunt all the time to satisfy that drug habit. They are always opting for black death instead of saving black lives, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Stupid white boy logic is killing black folks every day. Just the other day, at a Wendy's drive through in Atlanta, Georgia, stupid white boy logic just took the life of another unarmed black man. It did not have to be. But these white boys and white girls have an insatiable appetite for black death. It is almost like 
having a sexual orgasm with these folks. And from that, you should realize that these people are sick. They have a psychosis. They have lost all contact with reality. And in their delusionist minds, they have created an alternate reality. And in that alternate reality, their sick mind tells them, black folks, people that look like me, must die, must suffer in order for me to please this insatiable appetite that I have for black death. Stupid white boy logic cannot cannot rationalize between what that white cop can do and what that white cop should do. There's no way in hell Rayshon Brooks should be dead. I saw nothing on the video that required that required Rayshon Brooks to be killed. Certainly the racist white cops could have made the decision to shoot him in the leg. But he made the decision to kill him. Pumping multiple bullets into his upper body. Killing him instantly. Stupid white boy logic is killing black folks every day. Stupid white boy logic has installed white supremacy believing white judges to the federal courts. Today, to this date, they have installed more than 200 of them. These white supremacy believing white boys to the federal courts. Stupid white Boy, logic is dangerous. It's dangerous for anyone that is not white. Stupid white boy logic got George Floyd killed three weeks ago. Stupid white boy logic got Armard Arbery killed three months ago. Stupid white boy logic got Breonna Taylor killed two months ago. Stupid white boy logic. Stupid white boy logic got Rayshon Brooks killed one day ago. Stupid white boy logic made slavery legal. What rational human being would make slavery legal? Stupid white boy logic operates uh, from an alternate reality in the delusionist mind of too many white folks. Stupid, stupid white boy logic used female slaves for medical guinea pigs. Remember that quack doctor, Marion Davis of South Carolina? That's exactly what he did. 
he used female black slaves as guinea pigs, mutilating them, inflicting all kind of pain upon them, creating all kind of medical issues with them. Stupid white boy logic has always killed black folks, people that look like me. And it's still killing black folks today. And stupid white boy logic will continue to kill, marginalize, hurt, brutalize black folks until the rest of us, non-white folks, get the courage to organize and aggregate and remove these stupid white boys using their stupid white boy logic to impact us in a negative way. Stupid white boy logic got Trump elected. Stupid white boy logic elected Trump to the presidency. Stupid white boy logic kills more than 300 unarmed black folks every year. They are killed by these racist, racist white cops using stupid white boy logic. They are incapable of rationalizing the difference between what they have the power to do and what they should do. They always opt out for what they have the power to do. Killing unarmed black folks repeatedly. Stupid white boy logic has normalized white supremacy. Globally, white supremacy has been normalized all right here on this plantation called America and across the globe, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Stupid white boy logic caused the economic failure in 2008. It was those stupid white boys on Wall Street, those stupid white boys of the big banks, those stupid white boys of the big oil companies using stupid white boy logic to feed their addiction to see non-white folks suffer to loot non-white folks to kill non-white folks stupid white boy logic used these mutual fund schemes and stop stock buying and selling schemes to loot all of us causing the depression, economic depression of 2008. Stupid white boy logic put a pervert, a sexual pervert, an idiot like Kavanaugh on the U.S. Supreme Court. Stupid white boy logic put a dummy like Steve Mnuchin, head of the Department of Treasury. Stupid white boy logic elected that moron Trump to the white boy house. Stupid white boy logic has stolen $500 million 
of the taxpayer dollars refusing to tell us where that money went. Stupid white boy logic has elected criminals that are leading us locally, statewide, nationally, in the U.S. Congress, in the U.S. Senate, and yes, in the white boy house. Stupid white boy logic is killing us. It's killing us. Stupid white boy logic is destroying the rule of law. Stupid white boy logic has destroyed our modified democracy, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Secrecy is the tool of, of criminals and traitors. Stupid white boy logic motivated, inspired Trump and the Republican Party to conspire with Putin and the Russians to win the 2016 election. And they are doing it, doing it again in 2020, conspiring with Putin, the Russians, and anyone else that will help them in secrecy to fix and steal the election of 2020. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the thrashaway.libsyn.com. There you will get access to all that I have.